Welcome to the second video in the wooden tank series. The next step is going to be fiberglassing the seams. We recommend using 1.5 ounce fiberglass chop strand mat, not woven fiberglass. The first thing you need to do is mix a small amount of pond shield and thin it using the rough surface instructions first coat recipe. This will allow the epoxy to be pushed through the fiberglass when you saturate it. Begin by applying a thin coat of pond shield to the seam area. Make sure that the coating is applied further out than the fiberglass will extend. You will have to work quickly because once mixed, the coating will begin to cure. We recommend that you work with a small enough amount of material that you can handle at any time. You can apply the fiberglass in small pieces as well. Just be sure to overlap them by at least one half inch as you move forward with the project. Press the fiberglass into place. Use a plastic spreader to push the fiberglass tightly into the seam joint. The fiberglass is applied while the epoxy you just applied is still wet. This is very important. Use a brush or other tool to apply enough pond shield to completely saturate the fiberglass. You do not want any air bubbles under the fiberglass. Try not to disturb the fibers too much. Some of them may want to poke out of the seam. This is okay, they can be fixed after everything is cured. Apply pond shield and fiberglass to the other joints in the same manner. When complete, the fiberglass is very noticeable. This is normal. As long as it is completely saturated, the texture of the fiberglass can be addressed at a later time. We purposefully left one seam without any fiberglass. This will also be addressed in the last video of this series. Mm -hmm. 